We're on our way to Cheyenne, Wyoming today, and we're just driving down the freeway and we saw this Ludlow Massacre Memorial that we decided to stop at. The story of the Ludlow Massacre is the miners wanted better wages, an eight-hour workday, a safe place to work, and the right to organize. The United Mine Workers called the strike on September of 1913. As a result, thousands of miners and their families were evicted from company towns by the coal companies. The Union set up tent colonies for them. Ludlow was one of the largest tent colonies with 200 tents and 1,200 people. Governor Ammons called out the National Guard to help keep the peace. On April 14th, it all came to a head. From what I read, the miners saw the militia staging on the hill. All of a sudden, gunfire erupted, and neither side knew who was shooting, so they both started shooting. The militia used a machine gun they had set up on the hill. At 7.20 p.m., a train stopped on the tracks, halting gunfire. This allowed most of the women and children to escape. The death special was a reinforced car with a Gatling gun mounted on the back. It was run by the Baldwin Phelps Detective Agency, and they were hired by the coal companies to break the strike. Periodically, they drove along this road and sprayed gunfire into the tent colony. Then, suspiciously, the tents started burning. Two women and 11 children suffocated in the cellar dug out under their tents, known as the death pit. This memorial serves as a reminder of the lives lost that day. The memorial reads in memory of the men, women, and children who lost their lives in Freedom's Cause at Ludlow, Colorado, April 20th, 1914, erected by United Mine Workers of America. 21 people lost their lives that day.